Behind me is Colin's Mark III Audi TT, first featured on our blog post five years ago. Six years if you look at the numbers from 2018. Colin's, Colin's spot on, he wanted a very particular install, he wanted nothing to be touched, minimal sound deadening because we didn't want to apply too much to the car, we didn't want to change the car too much at all, but he has a very musical background, his wife is a producer and composer, and they were just sick of the flat system in the car. We've got a detailed breakdown blog post uh, on our website that I'll link to in the description below, which was when we very first documented this installation pre our YouTube channel so I thought it'd be interesting to see how a system fares on five years or six years after it's been completed so we've brought it in and uh, it's still exactly the same it still sounds fantastic of course it fits the original brief which is not much cop for video but uh, everything is completely discreet we've got Melee Legends in the factory tweeter locations on a custom OEM fit panel which kicks the tweeter ever so slightly. We've got Audison AV6 mid base in the door, AV3 mid range in the door on an aluminium baffle. We've changed out the mid base baffles for a plastic deadened baffle so that it doesn't deteriorate over time. We've got an AP BX8R, the Audison uh, sort of ported 8 inch subwoofer enclosure for minimal interference in the boot as you can see. It's a very sort of daily use boot, you can hardly tell it's there. Bearing in mind how old the installation is, so the tech has, has moved on slightly. So we've got an Audison AP bit 4.9, handing over to an AP4 and an AP1D. The 1D doing sub bass, the AP4 bridged on the mid bases, and then the 4.9 is doing the mid range and tweeters. And it's all taking signal from the original system, so you can't see a, a single thing in there. You can just hear a, a massive sound upgrade. So let's take a look around the car. If you've got a Mark III TT, there's not going to be anything that's unfamiliar to you. And I'll show you some clips of where the parts are installed. This car is ridiculously clean. Um, the, it, it is no different now than it was the first time when, when we did the installation. So um, as you can see, it's all completely OEM inside. The tweeters are underneath the original mounts. Mid-range is pretty much the only thing you can just about see. And the camera's picking that up really well. You can't really see that too much from uh, from where I'm sitting right now. And then the 6.5 is in the OEM location. Underneath the passenger seat here is the AP4 and the AP1D and all of the distribution. And then underneath the driver's seat is the... AP 4.9 bit all completely discreet so it's a bit messy in here today because it's uh, the middle of the day you don't usually shoot on a working working day but yeah that's the Mark 3 TT it needn't be garish you needn't see everything when we create a decent sound upgrade in your car you know so Mark 3 TT owners or any owners that fit this type of bill give us a shout let us know uh, what you'd like to do what you would like from your project and we'll see if we can build a system around that all right i'm going to add at the end of this video something that we don't usually do but stills from years ago so um you get to see some of the installation and then i'll add a link to the blog post which you should go and have a read of because it's i don't write enough blog posts anymore and i really should take it easy guys i'm cars studio in car collins tt